Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be jumping straight into Polkadot and the price of 2051 right now with a 7.05% increase in just the last 24 hours. Polkadot's definitely one of those coins that has been having a huge really recovery in this last week alone. If we take a look at the last week, we see a 34.61% increase. And then the last month, a 34.62% increase. So not much different there. But you know, like I said, this last week's been huge for Polkadot. Dot's one of those coins we cover a lot on the channel because we believe there's such long-term potential behind this coin, as well as so many other coins across the channel. So if you guys want to stay up to date with all of those coins, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. I do want to talk a little bit more about Polkadot and the prices that go along with it. So we will We'll be doing price predictions for the end of the year and the end of the mar bull market <laughs> part two at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. But I do want to talk about really what's making Polkadot rise in value right now. What's in the news with Polkadot? Obviously, the entire market itself is currently up 2.63%. Bitcoin hovering right around 43,000 and Ethereum hovering close to 3K. So, you know, the market's completely up right now, seeing great things across the board. But what's making Polkadot continue to shine? So let's jump straight into the first thing we're seeing. The, I guess, you know, the actual quote here is we're seeing the first bridges between ecosystems. In this new episode, Polkadot co-founder talks and walks through Polkadot's ecosystem where DeFi fits in and the privacy and security challenges lying ahead. This is a great episode that actually goes into details. So if you guys do hold a lot of Polkadot, I would suggest going into details on this, reading a little bit more yourself. Remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. So always do your own research. I do want to take a look into the next one as well. So Bill Laboon actually talked about this in Polkadot News. The number of nominators has reached a configured maximum number, so the new nominators are currently forbidden. A proposal is being prepared to update the staking configuration. Motion 102 found our Motion 102 to fund, you know, Polka World's activities for the next three months via their treasury proposal is currently under consideration by the Polkadot Council. And they talk about Kasama News as well. Motion 339 to fund uh, dot treasuries operations for the months of May and July is really under consideration by the Kasama Council as well. So two things under consideration definitely going to continue to be things that we should be looking into and I'll keep you up to date with. We actually jump into more relating to Polkadot here where we delighted host Hang, co-founder of Fala Network for our intro to Substrate event yesterday as part of our Encode Polkadot Club series. A huge thanks to Hang for this great presentation. So it's another great presentation showing really... I guess really showing and explaining more about Polkadot and how everything kind of comes together with the ecosystem as a whole. I do want to take a look in the next one. So Polkadot actually tweeted this out and I'm just going to give you guys this real quick and then we'll jump to the next one. This isn't much news really, but did you know that Spree shared protected runtime ed, uh, execution enclaves are fragments of logic comparable to runtime modules in Substrate IO, but live on the Polkadot relay chain may be opted into by parachains. So definitely a cool concept. We've talked about this kind of thing before. Um, you know, something that Cardano does a lot on their Twitter, they tweet out factoid Fridays, I believe they call them. This is somewhat something like that, uh, you know, just giving us a fact and uh, something to really, you know, think about. Next, we see the Kylan Network. So we are honored to announce in collaboration and partnership with the team, Astar Network, that we have achieved a very significant technical first for Polkadot's XCMP, cross-chain palette calling. And there's more info on this uh, if you actually jump into the article. We're not going to jump into the article because there is a lot to talk about today. And the next thing we're going to talk about is actually related to BlockFi. So we've talked about BlockFi before. It's definitely a way to, you know, put your money to work for you. Make that passive income. Passive income is something that all rich people actually end up doing uh, to become you know, even richer. And I think that's one thing to really know is wealthy become wealthy because they put their money to work for them. And they also you know, do things you know, in the smart direction. They don't try to work uh, you know, just hard. They work hard and they do things smart. So this is definitely, like I said, one of those ways to do so. Don't just buy Bitcoin, earn it. And they talk more about their crypto uh, cash back that you can get with the BlockFi rewards card. They go into more details on more from earn more from your crypto. So you can actually earn up to 7.5% APY and uh, interest occurs daily and is paid monthly. There are no hidden fees, no minimum balances, and no reason to wait. So I will have my specific crypto profit link down below. If you use my link, you'll get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin when you sign up. And uh, like I said, there's no hidden fees, no minimum balances. So it's easy to get started and you don't have you know obligation to do anything specific. So let's jump back into the next tweet. Talking about with the success of the spring Polkadot Hackathon in March, we are just accomplished summer hackathon with numerous applicants and 13 teams into Demo Day. Right after Substrate IO, seminar with Pat, uh, Patract Labs, 
Litinary and uh, et cetera teams glad to have Oak Network and NFT teams to win prizes. So this is definitely a way to grow your ecosystem in a way that, uh, you know, a lot of people love, you know, just showing that, uh, you know, there's a lot of projects that deserve to be in this ecosystem and that uh, will continue to make Polkadot even better. And uh, I do want to jump into the next tweet now. Jumping into the next one, we see we are delighted to announce news of our second collaborative cohort with the launch of the inaugural Polkadot Basecamp. Over the next three weeks, we will be accepting applications to join our Web3 Accelerator. For more info, you can obviously apply. But, you know, this is just continuing to show that Polkadot's growing and growing and growing. You know, we see so much going on with Polkadot. A lot of really projects starting to want to really join that ecosystem altogether, you know, with the utility that is provided in Polkadot and solutions that are provided. Uh, there's just, like I said, a lot of reasons as to why people are wanting to jump in. I do want to talk about really a price chart regarding Polkadot now, talking about that, you know, like I said, price prediction for the end of the year, price prediction for the end of the bull market part two. There's a lot to really bring up when we talk about it. You know, this manipulation FUD stage that we were in for quite some time, still probably in that stage, in my opinion. I don't think we've broken out quite yet. Uh, but if we actually look at the last month, you know, we had this 16 to $15, all the way down to even $10, you know, $9 for Polkadot for a while now. And, you know, it's great to see us really doubling since that July 20th mark up to 2051 right now with a 34% increase in the last week alone. Uh, you know, we, I do believe we are going to continue to see increases, recoveries. A lot of people expecting altcoins or small cap coins to really blow up within the next couple of weeks and months ahead. And I think it is a great idea to actually start looking into smaller cap coins right now. Definitely Definitely, you know, looking into larger cap coins for obvious, you know, profit easier, uh, you know, easier gains, more, you know, I guess more obvious profit in my opinion. But, you know, I do want to say I'm not a financial advisor, so always do your own research before investing. But I, without, you know, jumping too much farther into uh, those smaller cap coins, I want to talk about Polkadot. By the end of the year, we could easily be seeing prices closer to its previous all-time high. If we actually look, that is going to be around $50. So fifty to seventy dollars, in my opinion, is definitely a price point that I could see Polkadot reaching by the end of the year. By the end of the bull market part two, obviously, depending on when that bull market part two does pick up, uh, we could see higher prices. We could see much higher prices at that. You know, I could easily see one hundred to one hundred and sixty dollars at the very least for Polkadot by the end of bull market part two, depending on when it does release. You know, that bull market part two, when it does start and when it does end. You know, a lot of people are suggesting this could be you know, just a second half, but you know, this could be a full nether bull market really kicking off. And these could all be differently, uh, you know, different acts of different, uh, you know, time frames, different, uh, really just, you know, a lot of differences could be coming into play here with this bull market part two. So we'll see what does come up and we'll keep you guys up to date. Like I said, through it all. So if you guys want to stay up to date with crypto, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. And like I said, make sure to use my BlockFi uh, link down below. It will be in the description. It will give you up to $250 with a Bitcoin when you sign up. And like I said, it's a great time to start earning passive rewards during this hopefully bull mark part two beginning. So thank you guys again. I'll see you all in the next one.